I first started growing borage several years ago and I wasn't exactly sure what to do with it. But luckily, in the years since, borage has reseeded in my garden and I've also learned what to do with this amazing plant. And in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips for growing borage and also share some ideas for how to use borage. I'm Angela from Growing in the Garden and I garden in Mesa, Arizona in Zone 9B. And I love sharing garden inspiration and helpful tips so you can be successful in your garden. It's easy to see why I love growing borage. It's edible. It reseeds easily. The bees and other pollinators love it. Borage is an excellent companion plant for tomatoes, cabbage, strawberries. Borage is definitely easy to grow and there's really no reason not to add it to your garden. So here's how you do it. You can start seeds indoors and plant them out after danger of frost is passed. Borage will develop a large taproot, so if you're starting from seed indoors, don't wait too long to plant it outside. Or direct sow seeds where they're going to grow after the last frost date in your area. The ideal soil temperature for planting borage is 70 degrees. Plant seeds from a quarter to a half an inch deep and thin to one plant when the seedlings are a few inches tall. Here in the low desert, I plant borage seeds in my garden in October where they grow throughout the cooler months of winter and into spring. Most borage has blue blossoms. You can also try growing alba, which has white blossoms. Borage is one of those plants that can grow anywhere and grows well. It copes with most soil types, including soils that are low in nutritional content. And it grows well in a range of soil pH levels, even very alkaline soils, which is good news for me here in the low desert. Borage is also relatively drought tolerant and can be grown in full sun or dappled shade. The plants can grow large, Borage can grow 2 to 3 feet tall and 12 to 20 inches wide. Borage also grows well in a container. Water well until the plant's established and then let the top inch of soil dry out. The more water borage gets, the larger it will become. Borage doesn't require supplemental feeding. So if you're growing borage for the leaves, harvest new leaves before the bristles develop. Normally, the first flowers will appear 50 to 60 days after you plant the seeds. Harvesting borage flowers is simple. Harvest the blooms as soon as possible after opening. Pull them gently from the plant. Picking flowers encourages more production. One of my favorite uses for borage is to use it as a chop and drop mulch. Chopping up the plant and using it as mulch puts those nutrients back into the soil. I also like adding the leaves to compost. Comfrey and borage are in the same family and you can make a liquid fertilizer with borage leaves, similar to how you would with comfrey. And finally, borage is definitely a favorite of my chickens. So many great reasons to grow borage. I hope you'll give it a try. Thank you so much for watching.